In this video, I want to talk about doing data validation in Microsoft Access. In Access, you can do data entry either at the table level or at the form level. And we can set up the validation to work at, it, at either the table or the form. So let me go into this employees table. Here you have a list of employees. And let's say that you want to make sure that each new employee is at least 18 years of age. So I'm going to put in a, a new record here. So let's say uh, this person is born, you know, like today. I'm going to put in 1 slash 17 slash 2011. Well, it should have stopped me. You know what I mean? We want people that are a little bit older than that. So um, when you first set up an access database, it'll take any kind of data into those fields. So you really want to put some validation sometimes in. So let's, get, let's uh, try this again. I'm going to close this window. Now, what you want to do is go back into Design View. I'm going to right-click on this table and go into Design View. Uh, so I'm going to go down to, let's say, the Birth Date field. Pick on Birth Date. And then notice down here, there is something that's called Validation Rule and Validation Text. So Validation Rule is the range of acceptable values for that field. The Validation Text is an error message that they get if uh, they type in something different. So uh, here's a clue for you. Anything that you would use for criteria in a query can also be used for the validation rule. So it's going to be that kind of syntax. For example, in this case, I want to make sure that the, the date is going to be prior to, uh, let's say, January 1st of uh, 1992. So, uh, notice how the dates in, um, in the pound signs there, it's just syntax. So, it won't accept anybody who uh, wasn't born before January 1st of 1992. And for the text message, I'm going to say, birth date must be um, prior to 1 slash 1 slash uh, 1992. Okay, so um, so you, you put something in the validation rule and the kind of things that you can put in there is the same kind of things that you put into a query for your criteria. And then the validation text is going to be the text that they receive if they type in something different. So let's give this a try. We're going to close the table and save it. Uh, so it, it's telling us that um, do I want to go back and check the people that are already in the table? So when, when you put the validation like this, you could go back and change, uh, look at the existing records. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to say no, but, but you could do that. So let's go back into the employees table again. And now I want to type in somebody else's name. In fact, let me delete this person. And then we'll uh, we'll re-add that person. Okay, so I'm going to type in uh, that person again. All right, so here's the birth date field. Let's try that example. I'm going to type in one slash seventeen slash two thousand eleven. And when I try to leave that field, this time it says birth date must be prior to one one nineteen ninety two. You can see the validation really did work. Uh, literally, it won't let me continue until I put a proper date in. So let's try 1 slash 17 slash uh, 1992. It's still no good. It has to be prior to January 1st of 1992. So let's try um, January 17th, 1991. And you can see that time it did let us by. So uh, really, the validation is so great because it'll prevent data from going into your database that perhaps uh, doesn't belong there. So uh, that's that's a, a way that we did val a validation. Let me show that again. I'm going to go back to design view. And notice on the, um, when you click on each field, you get all of these properties. Here you have the validation rule and the validation text. The validation rule is the, the range of acceptable values for that field. Uh, it's going to be similar to criteria that you might put in a query. 
and then the validation text it will be an error message that they would receive if they typed in something different uh, so that's how we can do validation on a field-by-field -field level here in Microsoft Access.